conflict comes from two people having uh, different versions of reality, two people having different perspectives, two people disagreeing about something. If there's no disagreement, then there's not going to be any conflict. So all conflict comes from some type of disagreement or difference in perspective. And those disagreements and differences in perspectives come from two people operating with different versions or their own unique versions of reality. And when two people operate with their own unique versions of reality, there's going to be some things in there in the reality that they perceive that aren't the same. When that happens, there's going to be conflict. And because everyone does have their own version of reality, that conflict is inevitable. And when we have experiences where we bump our shins on each other's versions of reality, then if that situation is not handled consciously and fearlessly and wisely and self-awareably, then we're prone to getting into fights and arguments which are really unnecessary. That said, if we understand that we can negotiate, that we can communicate and work to and towards a shared understanding, then the conflict and the fights can actually lead towards a resolution and healing, uh, which I would suggest all negative emotions and all arguments and fights are ultimately helping us work towards. And so that means that when you get into conflict with your partner over time, yes, you might still have those very strong negative emotional moments. That said, instead of one storming out or taking a long break in the relationship or even bringing the relationship to an end, those conflicts, you know, within 30 minutes, you could actually um, discuss through things that you hadn't been able to discuss before and you can actually turn what used to be a conflict that could end the relationship into a wonderful healing opportunity and 30 minutes later even though both of you were really triggered and yelling at each other you could actually be having some conversations that you've never had before experiencing levels of vulnerability that you've never shared before and, and intimacy and therefore getting to understand each other, enhancing your relationship, gaining more self-awareness, gaining more understanding of each other, and, and wrapping that up with a truly healing, uh, emotional connected experience of, of reconciliation, of self-accountability, of apology, and uh, of, of positive constructive change change in the way that we think, change in the way we behave, so that truly uh, our relationship improves and gets enhanced over time. Now, in order to have those experiences, it's important to understand that everyone's reality is made up of their own beliefs and expectations and judgments and fears and the ways they think people should behave and act, the way the things they think people should do in certain situations. And that all comes from everyone's unique past experiences. Since no one has the same past experiences, no one is going to have the same reality. In other words, if reality is like a bubble that surrounds us, and this bubble, it is the, the bubble that we live in. And, and we oftentimes mistake in our bubble to be the same as reality, when it's not. It's, it's a version of reality that said it is usually not equal to reality, meaning that it is distorted by a process of interpretation. It's distorted by a process of projection. And uh, more accurately, it's actually distorted by a process of interpretation through the lens of our projections. You could say that. And then I'll give you an example. As we experience things in our relationship, 
as we talk to our partner, as we maybe have difficult discussions, as we look around and we see all these different business opportunities or relationship opportunities, as we watch movies, we're interpreting all of that through the lens of our recorded uh, interpretations of past experiences. And those recorded interpretations of past experiences, they make up that bubble. They make up our beliefs, our expectations, and our judgments, and our projections. And so no two people's interpretations of any situation are going to be identically the same. And as a result of that, people will be operating with different versions of reality, usually assuming that they're not, meaning assuming that the other person is living the same experience they are, and assuming that the reality that they've experienced is the reality, the real reality. Not noticing their areas of obscuration or distortion, meaning all the different ways in which they've interpreted reality and distorted it. And the result of that is that there's then this invisible influence of distortion and, and differences that uh, affect the way in which we operate and affect the way in which our partner operates and, and usually it leads to them operating differently than us. If we don't accept that our version of reality isn't necessarily always accurate and that our partner has an equally valid version of reality that the emotions they feel their perspectives and their per interpretations are, are valid and worthy of consideration then how can we ever bridge the gap between our different perspectives and conflict and disagreements and if we don't do that for our partner, how can we expect them to feel safe enough to do it for us? So it's important that one of us take leadership in that regard. That just one person decides, hey, I am going to step outside my comfort zone, allow myself to be vulnerable, and I'm going to consider, acknowledge, and validate the experience that they're having internally. And as you do this more and more, you'll find that your partner will start to learn from this modeling of behavior and that they'll start doing it more and more for you. And remember that you're not doing this as a favor to them. <laughs> you might feel like, oh, you know, why should I do that for them? Well, you're not doing it for them. You're doing it for yourself. And you're doing it for yourself because every time that you start to look beyond the lens of your reality, the lens of your bubble, the lens of your past interpretations. You're opening the door to positive change in your life, to growth, to evolution, to the new capacity to have more understanding and to be at more peace um, with situations that in the past where you would feel conflict, negative emotion, and pain. And I mean, if anything is important, maybe you might say, it's your, your capacity to be at peace and enjoy life from moment to moment. So doing this in your life, doing this in your relationship will allow you to, to turn conflict, to transform conflict from, from negative experiences that lead to worse experiences to actually wonderful opportunities for healing and understanding and resolution in your relationship. And really all it takes is one, one person to take leadership on this. And I hope you find this helpful. Um, a lot of the source for this information is um, from John Jones and his books, Freedom, uh, World Without Fear, and Enter the Era of Empowerment. Uh, you can find uh, more information about all this in, in the description of this video and on our website, DexterAndAlessandrina.com. Uh, if you're having relationship issues, uh, it's, it's so helpful and sometimes necessary in order to help people get through their specific relationship issues to for those people to have access to uh, what we call conscious facilitation which is basically the opportunity to speak to people who understand this information that we're talking about 
and also understand how to help people see through uh, their different lenses and, and to come to a resolution of issues in a loving, non-judgmental, and, and conscious way. Uh, and if you are interested in that service, do contact us. Uh, we help people worldwide by phone, and um, we would love to help you too. And thank you so much for watching this video. Um, you can look into the description or our, our channel to find other videos like this. If you like the video, please don't forget to, to click like if you want to, and to, uh, to, to subscribe to our channel to get notified when we add new videos. And uh, thank you again. Uh, we look forward to uh, hearing from you in the comments if you have anything to say.